Hi, I'm Russ of Aquarimax, and I've cultured springtails on charcoal for years. It works really well, but it does have its downsides. Recently, Paul Fos of Frogia offered to send me some of his clay culture medium, which he calls spring pudding, to try out. I was excited to try out the clay medium, as I had heard great things about it, but I was also interested to see that Paul had included some springtail food. I've been using it since I set up the clay springtail culture, and the springtails really thrive on it. I also really like the assortment of various habitat enhancers he sent along as well. These will really help spruce up my dart frog enclosure, which, I readily admit, is due for a little remodeling just about now. And the more I looked at these, the more I was sorely tempted to use some of them with my isopods as well. Oh, I like this branch or flower stalk or whatever it is. It'll look really cool. And here is the spring pudding. Now, let me tell you about how to set up a clay culture. First of all, the fine, dry clay dust right out of the bag is something you really want to avoid inhaling. So, I got this mask. This particular mask might seem like overkill to you, and for many of you it probably is. An N95 mask may be sufficient. However, with this facial hair, uh, it's hard to get a good seal with that type of mask, so I went for the upgrade. And I needed the mask for some other projects anyway. I poured some of the spring pudding clay powder into this plastic tub, which has a very tight fitting lid, and then I mixed it with distilled water at an approximate ratio of one part water to two parts clay. I stirred it with a wooden stick, and then with my hands I smeared the clay all over the bottom and up the sides of the container, about half an inch or about a centimeter thick, give or take. Then, to seed the culture with springtails, I removed a small piece of charcoal from one of my existing springtail cultures. I added this piece of charcoal rather than just adding pure springtails, as in my experience, this tends to establish the culture more quickly than adding springtails alone. I attribute this to the probable presence of many springtail eggs on the charcoal piece when it's added. Before I show you the results of this culture medium, which has been going on for about a month and a half, I want to thank Paul for sending this medium, the springtail food, and the frog habitat enhancers he included. If you want to try some of his supplies, please go to Frog Yeah on Facebook. I'll put a direct link in the description as well. I'd also like to thank my patrons at Patreon. Your support helps me do what I love, which is share what I learned about the amazing creatures of this planet with you. If you'd like to join the Aquarimax Patreon family for as little as a dollar a month, please click the link that I'll put at the end of the video. So now, let's take a look at this culture. As you can see, even though this is a relatively new culture, there's a nice thriving population of springtails here, which will probably continue to increase in density for some time. Once the culture is set up, it's easier to work with than a charcoal culture and appears to be a lot less messy. Feeding and hydrating the springtails is essentially the same, and you can just tap out the required quantity of springtails at harvesting time, which, again, is much easier than working with charcoal. Thanks again, Paul. I'm definitely going to be setting up more of these clay cultures in the near future. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all in aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video.